Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. McMahon. And I would like to read Across the Bay. And it was written and illustrated by Carlos Aponte. Across the Bay. Here's Across the Bay title page. Carlitos lived in the town of Catania, across the bay from the capital. Mango, avocado, and banana trees grew in every yard. These were the pride of the people. Most of the families in Carlitos' town looked the same. His family didn't look like the others. Carlitos lived in a colorful house with his mother, Carmen, his abula, and Coco, the cat. Fresh azucinas filled every room. These were Abdullah's favorite flower. Carlitos loved the town of Catano, but he did not like the barbershop. Buenos dias, Dona Carmen, said Francisco the barber. Buenos dias, Francisco, said Carlito's mother. Just a trim for my handsome little man. Carlitos blushed. And if you finish first, said Carmen to her son, I'll be across the street at the beauty salon. Carmen paid the barber, blew her son a kiss, and left the barbershop. Carlitos took a seat and waited his turn next to the fathers and sons. After his haircut, Carmen returned to drive Carlitos home. The little boy stared out the window at the Capitol. Mommy, where is Poppy? Carlitos asked. Do you think he'll ever come home? Carlitos, your father is across the bay, said Carmen. Sometimes things don't work out, but Abula and I love you very much. Are you happy with us? Carlitos nodded. He was happy. But he always wondered about his father. Why don't we go to the beach tomorrow, said Carmen. Imagine the fun we'll have. At home, Carlitos opened a small wooden box he kept in his dresser. Under a pile of cards and comics, he found an old photo of his father. I'll find you, Poppy, the little boy said, tucking the photo into his pocket. Next, he grabbed some money Abula had slipped under his pillow. He tiptoed quietly out the front door and straight to the ferry terminal. Carlitos bought a ticket and sat by the window. So far, so good, he thought. On the boat ride, the boy heard whoosh and splash as the ferry cut through the waves. The ancient city of old San Juan grew bigger and bigger. The trip was short, but it felt like a long voyage. When he entered the city, it looked like a maze. On a sunny corner, Carlitos approached a peragura shaving iced treats. Excuse me, said the boy. Do you know this man? He showed the ice vendor the photo. No, said the vendor, but there is a woman uh, named Cassandra who feeds stray cats by the cathedral. She's lived there very long and seen many faces. Perhaps she can help you find him. In a park by the cathedral, cats lounged in the shade. Some napped behind trees. I'm looking for someone, Carlitos told the woman named Cassandra. Do you know this man? Hmm, said Cassandra. She looked at the photo. I know more cats than people these days. San Juan might seem small, but it's a big place. You might have to travel the whole city. And so he did. In a colorful plaza, old men played dominoes. Carlitos asked one man about his father, then another, then another, but no one knew his poppy. On San Sebastian Street, people wore colorful costumes 
and sang and danced to the rhythm of guitars. The little boy searched the faces in the crowd, but no one looked like his father. Carlito searched all over the city. He walked so far he reached the ed edge of old San Juan. The castle El Moro stood at the top of a hill overlooking the bay. The only place to look is, it, is in the castle, Carlito said. Papi must be in there. The little boy sprinted across the lawn. His spirit felt as high as the kites in the sky. Carlitos arrived at the steps of the castle. Do you know my father? He asked the park ranger. Maybe, said the ranger. What does he look like? The little boy reached for the photo in his pocket. Oh, no, said Carlitos, his eyes filled with tears. Somehow the photo was gone. Clouds darkened the sky. Rain poured down in buckets. Carlitos and the ranger found shelter under an archway. Why are you crying? The ranger asked Carlitos. I lost a photo of my father, said the boy. Do you, do you remember what he looks like? Asked the ranger. Carlitos said yes. And he will forever live in your memory. When sad things happen, the ranger said, I think of them like dark clouds. No matter the storm, the sun always returns. And just like that, the rain stopped. The sun came out and everything looked shiny and new. Carlitos walked along the water and glanced at the town of Catano. He wondered what his mama, his abula, and Coco the cat were doing at that very moment. Now the sun was beginning to set. Fresh azuzinas, a street vendor shouted. The little boy smiled. He handed the vendor some money and bought a fresh bouquet for a bula. With flowers in hand, Carlitos raced back toward the ferry. His family was calling from across the bay. And Carlitos couldn't wait to see them. I do apologize if I pronounce some of the words in the book wrong. I do not know how to speak Spanish. And uh, I did my best. So that's all you can do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. And I'll see you soon.